All right, so let's start with um, the 3D character artist. This is someone um, typical of game design, but also not untypical of the, let's call it the human or creative or artistic side of any information system design. They have really three big um, qualities to them. The first is that they're an artist and they're very creative and they, um, uh, if this was a hundred years ago, they would be doing painting or they would be doing sculpture or something like that. They really come from an artistic background. They come from artistic bent. And so in their souls, they're artists. In this case, they also have to be anatomists because they're designing people. They have to be realistic, well, people, characters, mobs, and stuff like that, but they do have to be realistic. They have to have muscles in the right place, and they have to have the right sort of proportions to be believable. So there's a little bit of science in there as well. So they can't simply be creative artists. They also have to have some feeling for the reality of what they're creating. And then finally, and this is what makes it very difficult to be this kind of person, um, they have to be a very expert tool user. So they have to be very techy in their own way. Not techy in the sense that they write code, not techy in the sense that they, um, uh, that they are network administrators or something like that. Techy in the sense that they know the tool set very well and they know how to make that tool set do things that um, other people can't make it do. So if it was, you know, if it was again, if it was 100 years ago, there would be people who knew how to use paints in a way that other people didn't know how to use paints, how to mix them in just the right way in order to get exactly the right texture on the brush and on the canvas. Today, the, the tools aren't paints, they're paint shops, they're photoshops, they're animation tools, they're skinning tools, they're rendering systems. And the kind of person who can run them has to have a really strong knowledge of the tools that they're, that they're working with. And so has to be really very well split between the artistic and the technical. And so that's a kind of a hard person to find. If you find yourself or you feel yourself to be one of these kinds of people, understand that both of those things are necessary. Being very creative, being able to, um, being able to come up with interesting and creative designs that no one else has come up with is really important. But being able to master the technology behind making those things happen on a computer screen is also very important. All right, so that's the first kind of general type of person that we're going to talk about is the, the artist type of person.